Hey guys, welcome back. It's Avi from Mental Med School. Today we are going to have lesson number 16. We are going to talk about the major cell organelle, which is the nucleus. The nucleus is the site where we host our genetic material inside the eukaryotic cells. For the IMAT, you should remember that the nucleus is made out of two phospholipid bilayers, two membranes, which the outside membrane is continuous with the endoplasmic reticulum and the inside membrane, which is made out of different things unlike the outer membrane, the inner membrane is not continuous with the endoplasmic reticulum. But as you can see, we have different structures that connect those two membranes together and creates structures called nuclear pores. The membranes of the nucleus are very, very selective. It means only specific things can pass through the nuclear pores in and out of the nucleus in order to be used or in order to be excreted out of the nucleus. We know that in the nucleus we, may, we make mRNA, which eventually will have to go out to the nuclear pores to the cytoplasm. As you can see, we also have a very dense, compact nucleus, a mini nucleus inside, inside our nucleus. This zone which is, looks like the nucleus of the nucleus, called the nucleolus. And it is a very important area inside the nucleus, which makes ribosomes from ribosomal RNA and proteins. And the ribosomes will eventually go through the nuclear pores to the cytoplasm. So the things you need to remember about the nucleus for the IMAT exam. The outer membrane is continuous with the endoplasmic reticulum, but the inner membrane isn't. Both of the members are connected to the nuclear pores. The nuclear pores pass through both of the nuclear membranes. The nucleolus is the area that we make ribosomes from ribosomal RNA and proteins, which will eventually be, be extracted out of the nucleus through the nuclear pores, which are very, very selective to only specific things. Also, it's important to mention that proteins and other molecules can pass through the nuclear membranes from the cytosol inside the nucleus as well. So we have a bidirectional nuclear pores with the nucleolus, and we have the outer membrane, which is continuous with the nuclear and the endoplasmic reticulum. I will see you in the next video.